They call it the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme. Now, this is the fifth generation, and I've had a lot of questions about this laptop, but I personally have never had the opportunity to review one. So in this video, let's unbox it and take a look. Now, I've had my chance to look at the Slim 7. I've had my chance to look at the Lenovo 5i Pro, ThinkPad Z13. Uh, there's just a bunch of laptops from Lenovo this year that have come my way. I'm super grateful for how many laptops Lenovo has been willing to send to me. Um, I haven't had this many Lenovos in the past, and so it just really gives me a really firm grasp of their lineup. And uh, I've got to say, I've enjoyed that uh, this year because up until this point, I really had only ever looked at the Legion series and a few idea pads. And so that I've had so many think pads and think books in the studio, it's been really advantageous to me and of course to you guys so you know the best creative professional laptops that money can buy. Now we have a 230 watt charger block, pretty standard of a high powerful i7 12700H and an RTX 3060 and 16 gigs of RAM laptop. Now the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro does come with a 300 watt charger block, but on average these 230s are pretty common and will do the trick. All right, let's go ahead and set this down here, but there you go, that's your power pack package right there. And let's check out the laptop. Maybe. All right, pulling it out of the box right away. Love the carbon fiber top cover. Really nice, that looks so, so nice. It's soft touch, has a great feel to it. Um, a little on maybe the heavier side, but definitely thin. It is a thin laptop. Um, and then you can, of course, you can see the weight and thickness coming up on the screen right now. Let's do a little tap test on the top cover. That sounds really good. Check out the bottom cover. A little rattle on that corner there, but otherwise really nice materials used. Man, they fit this into the side panel so nicely. There's no catchy edge there. They've really smoothed off all of these edges. I'm really liking the build quality of this laptop so far. So we have a carbon fiber top cover and a magnesium bottom cover. I love the materials they're using. It's very nice. It's soft in my hands. It's enjoyable to hold. It definitely stands out as something different compared to all of the magnesium alloys and aluminum laptops. It has a very different feel to it and I like it a lot. Now let's go ahead and check out the ports while we're on the outside of the laptop. On the left side panel, we have our power adapter, two USB type C's, an HDMI and a headphone jack. And on the right side panel, we have an SD card slot. Absolutely excited to have that. And two USB type A's, as well as our Kensington lock and nothing along the back panel. Now what's interesting to me is we only have ventilation on the bottom of the laptop. And then of course, back here along the back of the keyboard deck, there's no side vents. So I'm really curious how well this i7-12700H and RTX 3060 is going to cool. Now, in my opinion, this is the laptop in Lenovo's lineup going up against the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro. This is the more premium, on-the-go, business-focused, creator-focused laptop. With that SD card slot, with no network port, it's a minimal design, it's more sleek, it's more professional, um, and so this could be a great option for you. Now, we'll have to check out the full performance benchmarks once we benchmark it, but for now, that's kind of where I'm having this laptop in my head. Now let's go ahead and open and close the lid with one hand. See how that does. Opens and closes easily with one hand like that. I'm going to take a look at the inside here. We have a manual cutoff switch for the webcam to avoid any cyber spying. We have the classic red dot for the center cursor. So you can move your cursor around right here from the red dot in the center. I've never been a huge fan of this thing. Um, you'll have to comment below. What do you like about this center cursor dot? What do you use it for? Um, it's kind of like a little joystick. Let me know, comment below, I'm super curious. Uh, also, we have the triple click buttons here. Now this is great for 3D modeling where you can click one and then like toggle around an object so you can you know quickly look around the side of it, on top of it, underneath it. And so that allows you to quickly access that, making this much more, like I said, creator focused. However, what they also have is you can click the trackpad, okay? So when it comes to the StudioBook Pro 16 from ASUS, I have not liked how you can't click the trackpad as well as use the click buttons. 
This laptop, you can, and I really, really like that. I think it's a great feature for creators because you can have access to those buttons when you need them, but when you're doing the rest of your daily workflow, you can click wherever you want on the trackpad and it's much more convenient. So great job on that Lenovo. Looks like we have some upward facing speakers here on the right and left. Definitely gonna give those a test during the full review. Now, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, definitely do so. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. So Lenovo sent over these three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros and as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're gonna kick off a giveaway to celebrate passing the 100,000 subscriber mark. The faster we get there, the sooner the giveaway is coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video, and drop a comment of how you would use a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Now the keyboard is a much more simplified keyboard than you would find on the Legion 5i Pro. No numpad, you have a full size shift key, you have your normal size arrow keys, you have kind of a smaller space bar than you might see on the Legion 5i Pro, which I think is kind of unique. Um, I don't know how I'll like that when I'm typing, I'll have to find out. It is a much more consolidated keyboard cluster. I feel like they could have actually moved it up a little bit, given us a slightly larger trackpad. You know me, I'm always looking for a larger trackpad, and I feel like this is no um, exception here. The trackpad is a good size, it's just not big. It's more of a medium-sized trackpad. Now, speaking of the webcam, as I mentioned earlier, here's a quick sample so you can see what it looks like and sounds like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 5, and a little sample of the audio for you as well. The screen does open up fully flat, which I like. Just gives a little more flexibility on when you're using the laptop. If it's a little close to you, you can open it up or keep it closed uh, however you'd like. They're not stuck at that like 35 degree angle on a lot of laptops these days. Now the screen is a nice resolution. It's 3840 by 2400, so it's more than full HD, uh, which I like. It's sharp, it's bright, it looks really nice. I'm looking forward to testing the color gamut range. It says it's color calibrated out of the factory. Um, by x right it's a Pantone color calibration, but we'll make sure that that's all up to snuff when we do the full review. So make sure you stick around and check that out later uh, as more videos come out on the channel. Now, as always, let's do a quick screen flex test. I'm super curious how stiff that carbon fiber is. And yeah, that's nice. It's nice and stiff. Not much screen flex at all, as you can see there. That looks really good. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the laptop over, check out what kind of upgrade path we might have, see if this is a good laptop to purchase with, you know, maybe 16 gigs of RAM, and then upgrade later on. Let's check it out, see if that's possible. All right, as I pull the bottom cover off of the laptop, we reveal a 90 watt hour battery, hoping that gives us really good battery life. This is an i7-12700H, so, you know, fingers crossed, those sometimes perform well, they sometimes don't, we shall see. But the best thing about this laptop, in my opinion, it would be the fact that you can upgrade both RAM sticks. So you can start with say 16 gigs of RAM, which is what this model is equipped with. If you're curious about the exact price, head down in the description below, click that link, check out the live pricing. When I checked it, it was around $2,800. So this isn't necessarily a budget-friendly laptop by any stretch of the imagination, but the quality of this thing is fantastic. Loving the build materials, love the upgrade path. You actually have access to a singular M.2 slot. So you can upgrade that M.2 for increased storage. Say you get it with 512 or one terabyte, you can take it up to two terabytes, four terabytes, whatever you want. You're not buying expensive Apple RAM. Can I get an amen? It's so frustrating to me that you can't upgrade a lot of computers these days, but ThinkPad's still thinking of you. <laughs> I like that. As I said, punch for punch, this is like the creator business professional focused laptop. It has fantastic top cover materials, bottom cover materials, upgrade path, and performance in regards to the i7-12700H and RTX 3060. So this thing should really pack a punch and I can't wait for the full review so we can check it out. Make sure you subscribe right now to help us get to 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. I am so grateful if you would do that and I'll see you guys here in the next video.